Hello, welcome to Slash Starcraft here, and welcome back to my channel. Now, for today's video, we will be fuck. We will be talking more about the NECA Bride of Chucky dolls. So, with that said, let's get into this. We got new photos of both the Chucky and the Tiffany. We'll take a look at the Tiffany first. Let me just keep in mind that all these photos say a production image, not final. So, these are not the final dolls. These are just part of the production and so I'm just gonna say that up front before I show you these images these are all the dolls that are coming along on NECA's side let's get into the Tiffany so here we see a look at the Tiffany we won't see her face in this one but we see the clothing her hand and we see some of her hair which I honestly I really like her stance I like how she is posing here and I think she looks really good overall to move on to the next picture, we see a very cool looking look at her face. As you can see, she looks pretty good for the most part. I think she looks pretty good, but there's something wrong with that eye there. Boop! I don't know what that's all about. Actually, I do. So after I finish showing off these dolls, I'll explain what that eye thing is all about. Because of the reason there. But let's talk about the Chucky now. I feel mixed about this. Like I said, these are production images, they're not final, but if you're watching NECA, listen up. Like, this, I don't know if it's because it's close up on his face or what, but something looks off about Chucky here. And it could be because of how his eyes are done, and he looks extra derp here. While the other picture I know why Tiffany looks like a, a big old derp. This one, I don't get it. I, I just think the way they did the eyes, he just looks really weird. And they need to touch up that and fix it. Or it could just be because it's so close up on his face that we don't get to see his full on, like what he actually, like his full on face and what he looks like. And that could be a very strong factor into it. But I think it's just something that they'll probably have to fix. But let's take a look at the hands of Chucky. Now these hands, they look pretty good. They, they look pretty good overall, actually. I mean, they're just hands. They can't pose or anything. I mean, you can kind of obviously tell they can't pose, but I think regardless, pretty good. I don't have much to say about these cool hands, I guess. Next, we get to see a look at the clothing of Chucky, a little bit of his body, and his hand. The hand that he'll be uh, using to grip some uh, murderous tools of mayhem. These overalls look really good, and they did a good job during up these overalls and sweater to, you know, like they look damaged like in Bride Chucky. I think they, they did a pretty good job here, and I actually like how it looks overall a little bit of the body you see the stitching to the body and the hand all that it looks pretty good for the most part but one thing you guys are probably wondering why does tiffany look doop here i got an answer for you guys here's what neca said in their post about the neca chucky doll and this applies to both chucky and tiffany our life-size chucky and tiff dolls will both include 360 movable eyes highly detailed clothing and an inner articulated skeletal structure hidden within a foam body perfect for posing and standing on their own in addition both dolls will also be able to hold items of their choosing or each other's hand till death do them part check back all month for more Monster Monday teases. So my assumption is that Monster Monday is where we're going to get to see more of these dolls when that time comes around. But there's some stuff we get unpacked here. Now first, the eyes are 360 degree movable. So that's why Tiffany's eye looks really weird here. And then the clothing, we could expect some really top-notch clothing for these dolls like the tots dolls these dolls will have a inner articulated skeletal structure hidden inside of the foam body that they're gonna have which i've been hoping that they won't do a foam body for these dolls because to be honest you know we already have dolls with foam bodies and you know i 
don't like it that much. And maybe these foam bodies will be much better than the Tots ones. So to me, it kind of sucks that they're not going to be doing like something else, like a plush body or something. Because honestly, I'd rather a plush body much more than a foam one personally. But maybe foam is easier for them. And like I said, hopefully it's not one that deteriorates easier. And hopefully it's a foam that won't tear as easy. It is overall better quality. But we'll just have to wait and see overall. But let me know what you guys think. Are you guys excited for these dolls? Will you be getting a NECA, Chucky, and Tiffany? I'm going to try to get them both because I do want them both. Do you think these will look better than the Tots? Or do you think they will look worse? Let me know down in the comments below. All opinions are accepted. I want to know what you guys think about these upcoming dolls. I really hope they're at least good. I hope that they come out pretty well. I'm gonna keep my fingers crossed. There's nothing wrong with being upbeat about these dolls. I'm just hoping for the best. If you guys enjoyed, be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more content. And definitely subscribe to become a slasher. All social media links and my merch. Down in below. Thank you guys so much for watching my updates on the Bride of Chucky, Chucky and Tiffany dolls. I overall cannot wait to get these in my possession i'm gonna try my hardest to get these so that i can review them because i really want to own these and hopefully they do look good whenever they're finished they're like 400 dollars almost 500 so i'm hoping for at least something that looks good because these aren't spirit halloween dolls we're talking about these aren't spencer dolls these are $400 Bride of Chucky, Chucky and Tiffany dolls. But nonetheless, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm out of here, and I'll catch you on the next video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and don't forget guys, to keep on slashing.